Pastor John MacArthur of Grace Community Church in Sun Valley, California, giving a powerful message to his congregation. We're going to get into the details of it. Before I go any further, guys, if you enjoy the daily content I put out here on YouTube and you like to help support my, my ministry, my channel with what I do, I recommend you sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description gets you access to all the bonus content right now. Soon could be all the content the way things are going now, I'm getting hit with all kinds of warnings. So who knows how much longer I could be here. If you want to only help support what I do, but also make sure you keep getting my content. If I disappear from this platform, I recommend you sign up. Please also like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, Pastor John MacArthur, a guy who has been in the trenches. I mean, this man has been fighting to keep his church doors open now for almost a year at this point, And he's been successful. He's gone again, I mean, the lawsuits that are against him, the restrictions, they tried to close the doors of the church. He would not let it happen. Preaching a powerful message, talking about superficial Christianity and how it's coming from these large mega church pastors. And I just, I love Pastor MacArthur because he is not afraid to talk about sin. Look, he has a large church himself, but this man goes out there every week and he preaches the word of God. Warning about superficial Christianity, that God is allowing these pastors to now be exposed. The ones that hide behind it, the, the corruption in these churches, these large mega churches, they hide behind it. They make a lot of money from it. But what don't they do? They don't talk about sin because they don't want to hurt people's feelings. Well, guess what? The Bible going to hurt your feelings a little bit. It should offend you a little bit, according to Pastor MacArthur. Because if it doesn't, it doesn't bring conviction. The Bible brings conviction to lead you to repentance. That's the whole point. This is how we lead people to Christ. We don't wish harm upon them. We're trying to lead them to the Lord. But if we coddle them, if we, as the church, embrace immorality and the things of this world, and we implement that in the church, who does that save? No one. It doesn't save anybody. You're not leading those people to Christ at that point. You're having them come in, give them a nice little blankie, a little coffee, okay, and have them listen to a nice feel-good message that basically affirms their sinful lifestyles. That's what Pastor MacArthur is saying here. And also... Without mentioning them by name, but I knew who he was talking about because I cover these headlines and you guys watch these videos. Ravi Zacharias, the late apologist, who he's been he's gone and been gone now for a little bit, got caught up now in investigation with some inappropriate dealings with some women. And he mentioned that that there was a, a late apologist that got caught up in, in all that. And then he kind of hinted at former pastor Carl Lentz of Hillsong Church in New York City and everything that went on there with him, him admit, admitting that he you know, cheated on his wife. I mean, then it came out that was, there was multiple women involved with him. Talk, call him a celebrity pastor, okay? These are the two men that he was referring to. This is what gives the body of Christ a bad name because you implement these pastors into these positions and they lead people astray. But... If you're not preaching the word of God from that pulpit every single week and you're not teaching repentance and you're not talking about sin and you're not talking about the blood of Jesus Christ, what are you doing? You can get a motivational message from anyone, but do you want the true word of God? That's what Pastor MacArthur was talking about here. If you guys want to see his full comments, I will put them down below here in the description. I agree with him completely. You guys can let me know your thoughts in the comment section Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.